going to the streets of Milwaukee here. We have the, the frigid streets of Milwaukee here. The Bucks here laying six and a half points at the house versus the Minnesota Timberwolves in this one over and under sitting at 227 in this one, my guys. Uh, I know me personally, I think the Bucks probably come back home and bounce back early in this one. I like the Bucks in the first quarter. Josh, um, how are you looking at this game? Obviously, Bucks struggling on the road. Back home now, do you think they can find some success on their home floor? Yeah, the biggest standout for the Bucks at the moment is the difference in their offensive numbers at home versus on the road. And at home, that offense seems to have very little trouble scoring against seemingly anyone. So I don't think that changes tonight. And the, the issue for Milwaukee, uh, for Minnesota, sorry, at the moment is when they come up against these high-powered offenses, can they keep up for the duration of the game? And they seem to be able to do enough to, to score and make it look respectable, but to actually win the game outright uh, is a bit of an ask for them. So... I'm right on market with the spread. I'm, you know, a little bit over the market on the total here. Like I said, right now, I mean, I only want to play overs on totals anyway. I don't think there's a, uh, a lot of me that wants to be playing in unders unless there's a pretty significant edge there at the minute with how teams are shooting. So I, I would lean towards the over. It's probably the only play here. I do agree with you, though. I think the Bucks are in a pretty good get-right spot. So, you know, I wouldn't be against taking them early. I wouldn't be against taking them a full game here either, even though I don't necessarily show a market edge there. Exactly. Yeah, looking for a bounce back spot from the books here. Um, Alex, how are you looking at this one, my guy? Obviously, Wolves coming off a road game where they lost versus the Pelicans. They were up in that game um, basically through the whole game and then end up losing it. Uh, do you think they can bounce back here? Do you think that the which team bounces back here, Alex? I think you have to lean with Milwaukee. They're always much better at home, but I have a look on the total here. Josh mentioned how good overs have been. You look if you go back to December 18th, the hour, the league was shooting about 46% from the field. We're up to 48% if you take a look at the last week or so. That's a huge increase. If you started blindly betting overs on that same date, December 18th, you're up 12 and a half units basically. Again, just blindly betting every single game over. Offensive efficiency obviously is way up and you know your average closing total is up about 2 points but your average game total is still up about five points it's hard to think that the market's still maybe a little bit behind on this and who knows how long it goes again it's been about a week almost eight days maybe nine days here where overs have been steaming and this looks like another spot i'm happy to take the over here i actually played this at a little bit of a higher number last night i'm not terribly sure why the market um opened at 229 and came down to 227 and it seems to have settled right at this so i'm not particularly sure happy to play either number i have this at 232 um the box with or without drew holiday have still continued to be a good offense. The Minnesota Timberwolves, we know, have their defensive struggles. Should be, uh, you know, things as normal for Milwaukee at home, which is usually good for points. And the Timberwolves, now that they're down to one big man, seem to have figured out the offense. There's a lot more space on the floor. Anthony Edwards is doing what he needs to do every single night. It's been really great. So happy to have a bunch of points in this game. I'll take the over. Yeah, I know. We know that we're not taking the under. That's for sure, man. So I mean, I mean I, it's crazy because I can't bet totals in the NBA because I like betting unders. And obviously, with the new age NBA, it's just I mean the way that the games are called, the the amount of three pointers that are shot as well. So um, you basically need them to have a terrible shooting game for you to hit the under or a team that actually likes to play defense. And I mean that that just doesn't happen really before the All Star break, my guys. So uh, me personally, I'm going with Bucks early in this one. I'll go with first. We're going with first quarter here. Bucks in the first quarter. Um, you can lay the two not that money line but you can lay the two with that one on the spread my guy alex rocking with over 227 in this one uh it's come down a couple points but he's not scared off of it says he sees plenty of points in here i could not talk you off in this one my guy 